Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 Coffee Mug Tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodnesson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. Using a coffee mug as an example, I'll show you how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, manage inventory, and much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup of joe and let's get started. Hello again, uh, welcome to the coffee mug uh, tutorials. Today is Halloween, so uh, we have a Halloween special. Uh, what we decided to do is carry a Halloween uh, coffee mug, specific Halloween coffee mug. So what we need to do is create a new item for this. Um, it is also a serialized item, it's a collector's item. Each mug is numbered, and uh, so that increases the value of the mug. Uh, so let's go ahead and create an item for this mug. So we go into items like usual. Uh, create, hit new, and just enter. And the description is Halloween coffee mug. It's going to be sold in pieces. And miscellaneous again. We probably soon will get our own item category code. We'll get to that later. I'm gonna have this as FIFO. Tax group is non-taxable. We're still non-taxable in our demo. And in the tracking, uh, we had covered lot tracking, but what we want to do now is actually serial tracking. And we only want to track the serial on sales side. So. We don't really care when it's coming in, uh, what number it is, but when it goes out, we want to know which number went to what customer so that they can come back um, and reference uh, the number. So I'll put sales uh, serial number and I'm going to manually trigger that in. So I don't, because when we're selling the coffee mug, we're going to scan the serial number. So I'm not going to have the system automatically generated. All right, now we've also got a picture of the item. So I want to put that onto the item. I hit picture here. I can right click to select the picture. And I'll go to my pictures. And this is how it looks like, very elegant. Okay, good enough. Now I have my item. Now I'm going to go and purchase the item and purchase order we are going to get it from uh, let me see it was custom metals it's a metal cup get the item just start typing halloween brings it up uh, let's buy it into the blue location and we're going to get 1,000 pieces. That's all they're going to make for this Halloween. And each one is costing us $10. Uh, and they already sent us the invoice and we received the inventory. The invoice was I-334499. And we just hit post. Receive an invoice. Now we have the Halloween coffee mugs. Notice that it didn't ask for serial numbers because I only wanted it on the outbound. Let me go back into the sales order. We immediately get a sales order from the Canon Group, which is a very good customer. Uh, and we issue a sales order for the Canon Group for the Halloween coffee mugs. So I'll go here into type item Halloween and ten and so now if I try to post this it's gonna ask me for serial numbers. So I'll just go ahead and put them in right away. I go here into line and line is specific to the line that I'm in. And I go into item tracking lines. 
similar to the lots as we did before, but in this case we're doing serial numbers. So I go in here and I start <coughs> putting in my serial number. So the it's actually one thousand and one and one thousand and two. A quantity has to be one because a serial number identifies a single piece. And then there was 1005. They were in scanning in order. And see. Oops. And so, like this 1006, 1008. 1009, 1010, 1014, and 1015. How many do I have? Eight. 1017, and I'm done. So those are the 10 that are going out. Obviously, it would be better to scan these in rather than typing in, but if it's a low volume, you can type in. The price is going to be $20. And that's it. Now we go ahead and post, ship an invoice. Out the coffee mugs go. And if I now look at the uh, Halloween coffee mug. That's in the sales orders. Let's go to items. Would make more sense to be there looking for it. Description, Halloween, and I go to my entries. I can see that I have thousand coming in, but the one C is going out. And if I choose column, I can go ahead and see my serial number, put that here right next to the lot number, and I have all the serial numbers going out. Now cost isolation will not be on the serial number because it's not on the inbound, but it does track the serials out. And that was it for the Halloween special of the coffee mug tutorials for the Halloween coffee mug that's serialized. Thank you.